Tough night inside Hawkins Arena for the Mercer Bears. They come up just short against the SoCon champion Wofford Terriers as it is a 76-72 loss at the hand of those Terriers. Dan Matthews coach Bob Hoffman here, right here on mercerbears.com. And uh, coach, uh, just one of those games, I guess you have to have short memory, especially with uh, ETSU coming in here on Saturday. Well, you gotta remember and figure out if you better not have short memory, you better get better because uh, we fought hard, didn't get it done. Uh, first half was not as good as it needed to be. And East Tennessee lost tonight. They'll be coming in, lost by one. And they've it's always been a great battle against them. And I know they're going to be zoning us up. So we're going to have to be ready to make some shots and make some plays together. And this is the time of year, too, I guess, where you're really trying to play the best basketball. How hard is that as a coach, though, where you want to get the best out of the guys, but also you don't want to put too much on their plate going into tourney time? No, you want to put everything. You know, I mean, there's nothing left. I mean, this is, we're trying to win games. I mean, it's whether it's the first game of the year or the 50th game of the year, we're playing the same way. We're playing trying to win, and it has nothing to do with putting too much on somebody's plate. You've got to get ready to play. I mean, these are high stakes. It's important stuff. And we got to play every night with conviction and communication. And we didn't do that the first half, and that's my fault. And I need to do a better job of getting us ready. And second half, our guys played outstanding and found a way to play more collective and, uh, and collected tremendous ability to take it to the rim. And that's why we were able to get some get back in the game. Let's take a look at how this game went for both sides tonight as we saw some good things from the Bears, saw some good things from Wofford as well, Coach. Well, I mean, we, we got it inside over and over again early in the game, and we, we didn't finish all of them. But the way they were guarding us, we knew we were going to get those opportunities, and we just didn't finish everything we needed to. LB came in, gave us great minutes, got a steal, got a finish. And those are the kind of things you got to continue to win. Uh, like that was a serious I don't know what that was, but Darius played great, and uh, it was tough how we were not able to get an and one in some of those situations. It had been four games since you'd gotten this guy in double-digit scoring. How big was that tonight? Yeah, I, I think we found different ways for him to get to the rim, and he looked for his own. Uh, we settled for a couple guarded threes late in, the, late in the clock. That one he made. Some others, him and Jabri, it would have been great if we could have bounced it again and maybe got some easy looks, but... Uh, uh, overall, I was really pleased how hard the guys played the second half, and that was big for us. As Iquamu throwing it down, talked about the bench production, one of the guys who really made it happen for you, Stefan Jelks. Yeah, great pass by Jordan. That was what I was talking about earlier. Those, those passes were available. Then Steph found a three right there. He's been working hard on his game. Another layup. Those are the, those are the plays you've got to make against this kind of team. Uh, two, great hustle play. LB throw it ahead. And I uh, barely got it over the rim, but I'm glad it went in. <laughs> yeah, I guess the end result is the one that matters. Yeah, the that most. was a big and one he scored right there. It was a big critical point. We got ahead several times at the end, weren't able to sustain and keep them from getting shots. And uh, against a tournament type team like they are, you've got to finish every play and play as hard as you possibly can. Uh, for 40 minutes, and we just got ourselves in too big a hole, weren't able to finish. Got the numbers here, Coach, from the game tonight. Of course, the one on top is the one that matters the most. But as I mentioned, the bench points going y'all's direction, and also as well, uh, points in the paint. Yeah, we had 20 assists uh, tonight on 26 baskets. We looked for each other, but with the percentages they shot, you can't, it's hard to win games against people like that if they're shooting that kind of percentage. And uh, our defense has to be more stingy than we were tonight in those kind of situations. But once again, like I said earlier, those are things that me personally, I've got to do a better job of getting our guys ready. Um, I love our effort. The second half, their want to and their desire was in the right place. We weren't able to finish. Coach, best of luck on Saturday. ETSU comes inside Hawkins Arena. Thank you for watching us right here on MercerBears.com.